first one over you, Father. Are you okay? Well, good evening. And, you know, first of all, I want to say, you know, I'm seeing you as I'm really thank you so much, Congresswoman, I like the way that sounds. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, thank you so much for allowing us to be here this evening. You know what, I'm going to do this quick because, you know, it's hot. You know, I am a part Chester resident. I am a strong supporter of CWL Lady right. because I do believe in you is strong. Woo! You know what? Janice is important. What it is is another attack on unions and our, our coming together and having one voice and having any kind of power. What we need to do is stop letting that 1% tell us how we are going to run our community. That's how we're going to act. What we need to do, you know, I believe in you said what they said about Janice. And they said, you know what, you can give yourself a raise. This is your opportunity to make your union accountable. They can't force you to come together and have one voice. What kind of nonsense is that? You know, they're not forcing us to be part of a union. We are part of a union because it gives us a voice and it allows us to negotiate with people who will not negotiate with you one-on-one. -on -one. It is time for us to come together. We need to change the way we see Janice. We understand who Mark Janice is. And let me tell you something, a divorced father of two could not take a case to the Supreme Court. He had people around him who supported this movement. They just wasn't our people, okay? They weren't people who lived in Parkchester. They weren't people who lived in the Bronx or even the city of New York. They weren't people who have to worry about the trains and the buses or anything else. They are people who sit here and think you should work for them. But here's what every political official does not understand. They work for us. And it's time for us to bring back our voice. Janice is important because it allows us to be responsible. Yes, you need to hold your union accountable, but it only works if you are responsible. What we have to do is be responsible. If you want them to do something for you, show up and make them do it. Let me explain something to you. When the union calls for a rally at City Hall, we don't need 100 people. We need 10,000 people of every Office, but mine will. That's right. 
and we will keep people in office who understand the importance of unions. Who understand that these are the same people who made $300 a week, or every two weeks, I'm sorry, I can't do that one. I'm sorry, I, I understand that was a long time ago, but I can't make that. I have seven grandchildren. You know what, I can't do $300. But you know what, we can hold them accountable from the mayor and the governor to the assembly, do you know what, to everybody, to the city council. They work for us, it's time for us to do that because we are stronger together than we ever will be apart. We understand Mark Janice won his lawsuit, but we win the day and it is up to us to understand that. So you know what, if you want to come out every Thursday and talk to us about any issue, we're at Lincoln Hospital, come on out. We're going to be there September the 20th. You can come out and be part of it and have a voice. You know what, we're going to have a table in the back to talk about Janice. We're going to talk about pay equality, whatever it is that you want to talk about, come back and talk to us. But you have to understand, if you are a member of the Bronx, if you live here, if you work here, if you come out and you care about it, you are union strong. I need everybody to understand, we are union strong.